Well, amid all of this confusion with the election and mail-in voting, the Postal Service says it will stop removing collection boxes for 90 days until after the election. So we wondered why those collection boxes are removed in the first place. Let's connect the dots. In order to understand the fate of some of these mailboxes on corners and in neighborhoods across the country, let's go back in time to when the very first collection box was introduced. It was cast iron, put on light posts on the streets of Boston, Philadelphia, and New York City back in the 1850s. Over the years, the size, shape, and colors changed. There were small ones meant just for letters and big ones meant to hold packages. The number of these collection boxes grew. According to USPS, at their peak in 2000, there were 365,000 across the U.S. As time went on, that number went down significantly to less than half of that in 2015, to just under 154,000 boxes. So why are these boxes getting removed? In 1974, new postal guidelines said boxes that averaged less than 25 pieces of mail a day should be considered for removal to save on fuel and labor. So these blue boxes weren't always blue, but they've been disappearing for decades. However, the number of boxes seen hauled away in recent weeks has drawn criticism and skepticism. So USPS has decided to freeze the removal until after the election in November.